A very good morning to you and many thanks for keeping it Y254. And my name is Karanja Alex and I write on time for youth and politics. And joining me on Saturday is Dan Orongo who is on my right hand. And of course next to him is none other than... Oh, good up Bradley Sankara KS. <laughs> Use honestly. Are you planning to be a DJ or something? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm a future president. <laughs> 2042. 2042. I'll be your president. Sawa, <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely vote for you. Yeah. Be nice to me, I'll make you a CEO. <laughs> anyway, Karibuni sana, Dan. Thanks. How was your weekend? Good. Uh, waited for these guys. Uh, enumerators, uh, I never saw any. And you traveled all the way? I traveled all the way. So, coming back from home, but then not enumerated yet. So you've not been counting? Not yet. Are you planning to go yeah, back home yeah. for counting? No, I, I think now I'll they'll strategically find me in Nairobi. <laughs> so you, are, you, are, you are not a Kenyan? Uh, I am, Kenyan I am, but I'm not, not really keyed into the, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually I heard that they're asking also if you have registered for the Huduma number. Yes, uh, they asked yes, they're also I've asking for the same. I was counted in the first day, mm. 24th, the night of 24th. Are you on Zeo Nyubakumi? Yes, around sad. Around uh, around 9 p.m. Mm. it was counted. Yeah, are you me. are you um, uh, chairman of the Nyumbakumi Initiative? Uh, no, I'm just uh, because uh, I want to ask you the answer. Uh, I matter <laughs> in the community. Anyway, anyway, welcome people to Youth and Politics. Today we'll be looking at youth and youth unemployment, and of course late loan and youth empowerment. But before we get to look at the statistics statistics that are there about youth unemployment, I want us to have probably just discuss briefly about the census issue. Uh, Dan, you have not been counted, I know, <laughs> as you have just said. Do you think the government is aiming at taxation, or are we talking about employment for those who are unemployed? Well, I, I think uh, the census definitely is meant to underscore a number of uh, you know, mm -hmm. objectives, one of which is to know the exact um, number of people within a certain locality. Mm -hmm or a constituency within a geographical area for the purposes of national planning mm -hmm. and resource allocation. Yes. Um, that befits the interest of uh, the National Housing and Population Census 2019. <laughs> uh -huh. um, the other thing would also, uh, one of the, what our people should know, and the Kenyan populace should know, is the fact that we're not only interested uh, in knowing the numbers, yes. but, you know, other classical things that are needed. For example, knowing um, even the number of employed people not, um, the average income of a housing. Yes. Um, even uh, if, if, if you own uh, a cow not, and uh, all these are meant to gather a certain information, not only for the government, but spread across. My only uh, reservation as, as a rights uh, uh, probably defender is to know why would somebody be interested to know uh, my passport number? Mm. Um, passport? My, yeah, right. and uh, the national ID. And whether or not I registered for Uduma number. I, I think uh, that within the, uh, um, the security measures and the freedom for rights and freedom for privacy I think it's something that should be considered, uh, no, knowing uh -huh. that we we are coming from a backdrop of, you know, all these talks about um, data mining and mm -hmm. the safety, uh, pure safety of information mm -hmm. and the security of data. Oh, of which, if you mentioned about uh, privacy, uh, I remember once, uh, I think one week ago before we began the census, uh, the, the, the managing director actually noted and said that any information given is private and confidential. So I believe that data collection is private as per the government has noted. So for me, I, I, I'd really want to know from your side, what do you think about the collection of data? And they have already said that everything is private and confidential. Well, I, I, think, I think like I've, I've said, uh, we, we, we are coming from a very um, still emotional election where um, you understand that one, one of the um, uh, international data, you mm -hmm. know, uh, and, and political, uh, what we called uh, institutions, they got some very sensitive data from Kenyans. And thereafter started to influence the outcome of election through personalized data. Uh, remember the story about uh, automorphor mm -hmm. and the rest. So all in all, what we are saying is that I would not 
you know, hesitate to provide my government with the information that is much desired for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. and to help me. But then I would question that in retrospect. What is the safety of the information I'm giving you? Is it handled by the servers that are controlled overseas? Or is it within locality. the mm. government locality? So that it would inspire me to give information that my government would be mm. useful to them to provide me with services that I require. Do, do I want to come to you, Guna. Do you think that the services probably the government has been trying to offer, now that we have Huduma number and we are doing census, do you think we try and merge and try to bring in like the Huduma number, the one number digit, because you have mentioned about passport, about Huduma number, and of course your ID number. The government is seeking to merge all these even NHF and all that stuff. Do you think we, the government is trying to do these in order for us to be able probably just to synchronize everything and bring it to make it one? How will it help? You remember last week when uh, President Kenyatta and the Kenyatta family were doing the, the memorial service for the first president yes. of this country? Mm -hmm. Remember what they said? Uh, what the president said is that this is the last time we're doing such a service. Other census. Time, not census. Mm -hmm. the oh, for, for the, the years. The, the for the late president. For the first president. Mm -hmm. He said that would be the last time they're doing it. Others, they will have other arrangements of doing it. Maybe private something. Mm -hmm. uh, it should also come to census. <laughs> the last time we are doing census. Uh -huh. There should be a better way of handling this. We are not in, in 18th century where people have to be head counted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be the last. Because they are, like you say, they said, Oduma number. Every time you buy a car, if you, they're interested to know if you have a car or not. There is, every time you have a car, KRA captures. They, because they, they want mm -hmm. to go through that. And register, process. yes. When you sell it, they also capture because there's a transfer or whatever. So this should be the last time we have census, so that they should uh, not boggle us with those useless questions. Like, <laughs> you remember what they were asking? Like, like 